you guys. The river's looking good today. There's no wind. It looks like it's gonna be an awesome day on the river. I'm gonna try out some new new techniques, throw some small nymphs. Maybe, maybe we'll get a hatch in the afternoon. You guys know I'm always talking about how I want there to be a hatch, but it doesn't always happen, but we'll see today. Looks like it's gonna be awesome. I'm excited to get out there and catch some fish and see what happens. Another day on the water, this is gonna be fun. Okay, you guys, it's dead calm out here, which is awesome. I think we're gonna start out nymphing today with two flies, and I'm gonna start out with two pretty light flies. The water that I'm gonna be working through first is pretty soft, pretty soft water. So I'm gonna start out with two real small nymph flies, and I'm gonna be running those off of 6X, off dropper tags, and I'm gonna give those a go and see how they do for us. We'll head down there in a couple minutes. Gonna work some of these edges, I think, along the bank because I think some of the fish could be pushed up through there. We had some rain over the last few days and I think that some of the fish could be pushed up against those edges a little bit. Let's jump down there. Start right off this edge and this real slow stuff and just see if there's any fish holding in it. Okay, I dropped back again and I have even lighter flies on, or I mean heavier. I have a heavier fly on point and I just want to see if there's a fish finally sheesh a white fish the water is cold 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 today white fish and he gone okay so i switched it up to a sculpin jig streamer and i just want to see i've got the trout spay rod in the car if they respond to this we'll make a switch okay so i think that's a white fish but it still ate the streamer so i think it could be a streamer day out here for us. Whoa, 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 dude, dude, dude. Nice white fish. And he ate that streamer, so. Okay, so they weren't really that perceptive to nymphs down there, so, but they ate that streamer twice. So I'm running back to the car. I'm gonna grab the trout spay rod. And with all this cloud cover and possible rain, I think that could be the way to go. So I'm gonna grab my glasses because I couldn't really see in the water down there. That kind of sucked. And grab that other rod and see if they'll eat a swung streamer. Okay, so I got the trout space set up going. I got my glasses, my rain jacket. I'm feeling good. We're gonna head back up to that spot, but it looks like it could rain. So I'm gonna leave this big camera in the car and just do the GoPro for now until later. We'll see if this rain passes by. It's supposed to clear up later. So here we go. Let's head down there again. See if they'll eat a streamer. Got a big sculpin on. Let's do it. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got a huge sculpin. Well, huge for me. receptive which is interesting because you know you hook those ones earlier you would just kind of assume reel this in and go to a new spot okay new spot left the big camera in the car 
um, because I think it's gonna start raining possibly, like I said before. So we're just gonna work up this edge. Fish. Yeah, I'm gonna start hitting some of these, this real shallow, slow stuff with these pockets and just see maybe there's some fish sitting in this. Good fish, good fish. Sheesh. You wouldn't think you need to be up in the shallow riffles when it's 45 degrees outside to get these guys, but apparently, let's see if I can get them back though. Up in the net here. Good one too. Nice. I'll take it. Get them unhooked here. Cool little rainbow trout. Let them go. Let's see if we can get another one. I don't have a lot of time left, so. There's a good one. Ooh, it's a big old white fish, I think. But he's up above me, so I might be able to surf him back. Ah, no. Come back, Mr. Whitefish. There we go. Oh, he's up above me, so that's good. I think I can. I'm gonna land this big monstrosity here. Energy left. Gotcha. Big white fish right there. Let's see if we can get it unhooked. Show them to you guys. Big ol' big ol' white fish. Off that soft edge there, just a little guy. Let's see if we can get him unhooked here. Oh, he's unhooked. Just a little guy. There's a fish. Good one. Right off the edge of that. A lot of white fish. That's okay. <laughs> he ate the nymph. I feel like there should be some trout in there though too. If there's a white fish. Another white fish. Probably the same freaking white fish. Who knows? Could be. It feels the same. Ah, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Let's see what's this. Another big old white fish. Quickly, this is a big one, but he's using up all my time here. Good grief. It's kicking my butt, and I just want to get him in the net. That's a big one. Holy cow. Let's get him unhooked, or her. It feels like a her. Whoa! Okay, well that's the day done. Not amazing, but you know, the rain held off in the end and uh, we did find some fish. It was mostly all small stuff and man, we really slayed those white fish there at the end once all the fish started feeding. So I think the name of the game was just to come out later and I only had a few hours this morning to hit the water. So 
it is what it is three or four trout five or six white fish something like that i don't know fun day fish are definitely doing winter activities they're definitely pushed into the slower stuff or up into the riffles feeding when there's a hatch going on but it seems like they were kind of sulky this morning and picked up in the afternoon so if i come out again later in the week i will definitely be doing it later in the day anyway that's the video for this week guys i will see you in the one next week be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos it helps out a lot and uh yeah that's it go catch some fish <laughs> <laughs>